Ayan, good morning everyone. Ayan, um, thank you so much for coming. Ayan, I just improved my platform. Ayan, makikita niyo na po yung chat ninyo. And so, I think this is much better now. Ayan. Today, we're gonna be talking about, share ko po sa inyo, um, how the Timson Trade Platform looks like. Ayan yung pag-uusapan natin yun. Papakita ko po sa inyo, um, gano rin kaganda ang Timson. Maganda rin naman ang Timson. Meron akong Timson kasi. Yun yun, 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 uh, ginagamit ko rin si Timson on some of my trades. So, I'm gonna share to you the platform today. At least may idea kayo ano makikita ninyo sa Timson. To be fair with other, uh, with other what do you call this, with other platforms naman. Diba? So, yan. Uh, that's our topic for today. So, before we go to that, I wanna say good morning to everyone and especially to my daughter, Laika. Good morning, Laika. And um, if you just watch, if you're watching the replay of the video, please move forward to around uh, 25 minutes kasi doon magsisimula yung uh, that is where our discussion will start. Because uh, first part of the program is I'm gonna be reading your comments and if you have anything to say, any any request, any question, uh, please post it on the, ano, please post it on the uh chat natin, alright? Uh, i-chat nyo lang dyan, babasahin ko po yan. As much as possible, I read everyone's chat uh, during, uh, throughout the course of the program. Ayan. So, um, what, what do I want to say? Ayun, first up, please, please, paki po, um, share ang video. Please share this video to your um, Facebook uh, wall. Ayan, para at least yung mga kaibigan ninyo will be interested at mas spark po yung interest nila in uh, about stock market yung curiosity nila it starts from there diba and then um please post it to your share it to your face uh training groups if you have any if you have any investment groups para at least yung mga newbies doon magabayan naman natin all right so i think kitang kita na ang chat ngayon so makikita na ng mga tao so i think this is better now all right good morning sir lloyd and laika from joy lagares argil mendoza good morning sir lloyd and laika good morning din sa inyo uh arleo good morning uh, vince gotera good morning one moment please all right jay baltazar good morning shells dv 
Vince Gotera watching from South Korea. Oy, taga South Korea rin pa rin si Vince. Good morning sa inyo dyan. Anyong, anyong haseyo. And Kathleen Rasing, good morning. Let me just double check my audio if it, everything is working well. Uh, yun, very good. Um, ato, si Kathleen Rasing, good morning sir. Any thoughts on TOGS and IDC? Thanks. Kahapon, right, let me share my screen. Oh ha, nakikita nyo. Maganda na yung ano, setup natin. Tugs. Right, I want to show you my screen. Kay Tugs kahapon. Kay Tugs kahapon, I was hesitant on recommending it. Even though we are already seeing the support. Uh, I thought it was too aggressive. Right? But I was, we were already expecting the bounce. Kasi medyo mas mababa yung galaw niya. And then there was this downturn. Kay nag, nag, nag aano ako kay, nagdadalawang isip ako kay Tugs. Right? This this was a downturn yesterday. Right? I waited for Tugs to do a breakout. And nag, nag breakout nga siya kahapon before I wanna recommend it. Actually, may Tugs lang ako. Andito na ako kay Tugs. Eh. Nakapag sell off na ako sa tuktok. Right? Because uh, I recommended Tugs at around this area. Maket doon. And then, ayun, nagsusupport naman siya. So, I really, did, I still have half of it. Hindi ko lang nireko. Inantay ko po yung breakout. And then, suddenly, nag breakout kahapon. Ang problema lang, ito yung problema, guys. If you want to be really very conservative kung napaka-conservative nyo naman at inintay nyo pa po at the end of the day ang entry ng isang bagay uh, ng isang stock minsan nangyayari yung ganito na iiwan kayo so may advantage ang sigurista may disadvantage din it's really about taking risks dito right as long as you you have calculated risk pwede nyo pong pasukin yan uh, kahapon yung green na yan that was already a good confirmation of a bounce right we have a possible support at this area so we were expecting really ba- tags akala ko kahapon mag magba bounce lang si tags to break out lang ng konti para ma-recommend ko pero laki ng galaw ni tags so i don't want to recommend tags right now kasi sobrang taas niya na abangan niyo po si tags I, i don't i Uh, I don't mean na pangit si Tugs pasukin, magandang pasukin si Tugs. But right now, it's not the best entry point. This coming days, magpupullback yan. That will be the best entry point kay Tugs. Magpupullback yan ng konti. If it shows a higher low, that will be our entry point kay Tugs. Alright? Um, good morning, Soid. Sir Lloyd, um, tingnan mo ma... ma Tingin mo pa, yan. Mamaya lang, mabasahin ko yung mga yan. Alright, um, so, um, Kathleen, I'm gonna write down IDC. Um... Yun, RD, IDC para daan na natin IDC right daan na natin mamaya si IDC here is here are my recommendations for today ayan and then may special mention dyan si Picor naabangan ko pa yung bounce ni Picor eh. so but, but those are my recommendations for today guys kahapon we talked about CIC it was an unusual recommendation from me yung CIC di ba Pinag- pinag-usapan natin si CIC It was an unusual recommendation for me let's check out the the uh, the chart of CIC but it turned out to be one of the best winners yesterday if uh, let's check out the uh, stocks winners yesterday kung makikita niyo po um, dito CIC 16% yesterday right re-recommend ko kahapon si CIC dahil dito sa volume I used volume as my technical analysis I thought it was gonna do a breakout anytime soon kasi andun na siya sa resistance and laki ng volume it sustained very near resistance so I thought it was gonna break out and nag break out nga and lumipad lang ang bilis lumipad ni CIC after that so yeah, this is volume technical analysis right so at least nakagamit nyo rin ang volume one of my recommendations today is using volume technical analysis hanapin ko ulit yung recommendations ko I think si sino ba yung volume na uh, ayon si FMETF FMETF is my recommendation for today um, malapit na siya breakout actually it's at the resistance level right there it's sitting at the resistance right the volume is there maganda ang volume so if volume was increasing so this is a good sign for FMETF I think FMETF is gonna do a breakout so ang linagay ko po dyan on breakout, right? Huwag nyo pong iisipin. I'm thinking it will break out. It will do a breakout sa tingin ko po. Pero, if you trade trade what you think, that's wrong trading, right? Always trade what you see. Antayin nyo po yung breakout before po kayo magpasok dyan, right? Huwag nyo pong papasukin kasi sa tingin nyo magbe-breakout. You have to see first the breakout before you wanna get in, right? So, antayin nyo po yung breakout. It might happen within the day. You can be aggressive, na pag breakout niyan mamaya mga alas 10 alas 11 pwede niyo pasukin or you can be conservative pwede niyo pong antayin end of the day if magso-sustain po yung breakout 
yun nga eh, uh, yun nga lang, ang disadvantage niyan, pag mag-end of the day pa kayo, baka lumipad naman na napakalaki yan. So, as long as you can see the, uh, watch the market, pwede naman kayo maging aggressive. I think it's good, uh, I think it's good to be aggressive in the market today kasi, ang laki na foreign buying yesterday, right? We are at a net foreign buying for how many days na nag ang market um, ngayon ang medyo significant na foreign buying. So, ang ganda ng foreign buying. So, that means na pumapasok na ulit ang mga foreign investors. So, it it's it's a good uh, it's a good signal to be aggressive. Alright? I hope it sustains. I hope magtuloy-tuloy. But those are usually good signs para maging aggressive sa market. So, just be aggressive at the right time and the right time is coming, right? Pumapasok na yung mga foreign buying. So, that's good to know. Right? So, yun, um, good morning, sir. This is from Roberto de Guzman. Good morning, sir Lloyd. ISM, LTG, and Ali. ISM, LTG, and Ali. I write that down. ISM, nag-bounce na naman yesterday. Understood naman yun sa ISM. I keep telling you, tuwing nag-dip yan, pasukin nyo po. That's your, that's your opportunity to buy. Alright, um, sulat ko lang ito sila ISM. Sorry, ISM, LTG, and Ali. Tignan natin yung chart nila. Yet, si Ali, kahapon, ni-recommend ko yan. I still recommend Ali, especially for investors. Napakamura pa rin ni Ali. Tinang- tinanggal ko lang si Ali at si AC sa recommendations ko ka- ngayon. Kasi na-recommend ko na yun kahapon. Lumilipad na sila. They're already bouncing. Pero hindi, hindi pa rin huli para pumasok. Yet, kahapon ko ni-recommend yung mga yan. Sila Ali at si AC. Dapat kahapon yung po pinasok. Right, ngayon, nagbabounce na sila ng malakas. So, medyo risky na ngayon, pero still tolerable. But we'll check the charts later on. Addison C, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then Ralph. JVR, morning, Sir. Anong TP natin kay Tugo? Nakasakay ako sa 14.64, Sir. Thanks. Actually, um, target profit, ang inaabangan ko kay Tugo talaga is, yeah, if you're not a member of the chat room yet, join the chat room. I wanna share to you an event yesterday anong nangyari sa chat room natin. Right, um, so I think I can zoom in para mas makita yung chat. So, um, let me see. Let me search for my uh, my chats, Lloyd Bazaar. Right, if you haven't joined the chat room yet, download Discord. This application is called Discord and then go to the video description. Meron pong Discord invite link dyan. Just click on it, right? So, para makapasok po kayo. Um, let me see if makikita ko po kahapon. We were talking about this yesterday. Um, yesterday, 8 in the morning. Uh, Vulcan. Alright. Uh, this is around... No. Uh, yun. Hirap hanapin. Alright. Hanapin ko na lang si to go kahapon. Yeah. Um... May comment dito about to go eh. Yesterday, let me see this. This yesterday, Traders Lounge yesterday. Uh, hirap hanapin. Basta around noon, right? Noong, around noon, right? Um, I shouted out na si to go. There's something up with to go. Kapon, sa daily grind, pinag-usapan natin yun eh. We talked about to go yesterday. Sabi ko sa inyo, may linuluto yan si to go. So, yun. Um, at around noon kahapon sa chat room, Sabi ko sa mga tao, pwede nyo na pasukin si Tugo at around MA20, use MA20 as your support and lumipad si Tugo yesterday after that. So, it was very helpful. Dapat naka-join kayo sa chat room. If andun kayo sa chat room, nakapasok din kayo kay Tugo. That's why nagtatanong ngayon si Ralph JVR kung magtitp ba kay ano, kay TP, magtitp ba kay Tugo. Ang taas na ng habol mo ano, ta- taas na ng pasok mo Ralph, right? Um Target profit ko kay Tugo is mamaya na sa news talaga. Uh, the news was si CLC matutuloy yung bibilhin nila si Tugo but it's still um uh, yun yung bulong, right? Um it's still speculative, hindi pa rin nangyayari yan as of the moment but there are developments sabi ng insider ko. There are developments. So it's it's helpful news. That's why I recommended it yesterday around uh, at, 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 at noon and then after that lumipad na. So ang hirap na habulin ngayon kay Tugo. So join the chat room so that you maambunan naman kayo whenever these people na ma connection natin gives us information. Ako po is libre lang yung mga recommendations na yan. Right? I share it to everyone. Hindi po ako madamot when it comes to um, information na binibigay sa atin. So, if may information kayo sa mga trabaho ninyo na nasa stock market, let me know. Uh, uh, let's share it to everyone. Right? Everything is free. Uh, 
libre natin yung mga recommendations na yan, yung mga insider na yan. Hindi po natin ipagdadamot yan. Right, so Ralph, medyo mataas na yung pasok mo. Um, ang plano ko mag-TP dyan is mamaya na pag lumabas na yung news talaga, magsasell on news tayo dyan. Kasel, John Visaya, good morning po sir, P-Core po, tsaka AGI. Si P-Core is one of my recommendations for today. Uh, si P-Core, antayin nyo lang po yung bounce. Ang ganda ng chart ni P-Core. Let's go to P-Core, uh, mamaya na lang kasi sayang yung oras eh. Basahin natin as many, as many... Uh, what they call this as many messages as we can. Mabel Sanoses, good morning Sir Lloyd, PIP and Tel po, please. All right, so PIP and Tel. Uy, si Tel nag-bounce na. We'll check out the charts later. Um, I think I think Tel is good to enter. Um, pero nareko ko na yan noon, same support eh. So I don't want to recommend it again kasi dadami yung lista natin. But yeah, I'll check out Tel in a while. Shirley Igar- Igargo, good morning Sir Lloyd, watching here from Japan. Ayan, good morning sa inyo dyan. Uh, sa mga kapatid natin, OFW sa Japan. Sana mabisita ko po kayo one of these days. Especially this year. Ang target ko po is to reach as many Filipinos as I can uh, for this year. Right. Jeffrey Sabalia, good morning Sir Lloyd uh, and everyone. And Laika, good morning. And Al- good morning. Thank you Jeffrey. Al- Aldisin. Human, hum, humdana, right? Hum, humdana. Good morning, sir. Watching from KSA. And good morning sa inyo dyan. Um, Dave Guapo, that is morning, sir Lloyd and Laika to my wife watching from South Korea. Yan, daily, uh, ano natin yan, daily viewers natin yan. Isa si Dave, right? Thank you so much, Dave. Right, guys, again, pakishare po yung video so wall ninyo and your trading groups para po, uh, what do you call this? Para po na... Uh, marami pa pong newbies ang makakaalam sa program na ito. Shells DV, Vita, Aba, IRC please. Vita, Aba, and IRC. Yan si Aba, nag all, uh, hindi nag all time high. I mean, I mean nag breakout kahapon which is very good for Aba. Ang daming natatanong saan kanina. Si Sir, si Aba, pwede ba bang pasukin? Let's talk about that in a while. Right, Rodel Gachalian. Good morning, Coach Lloyd. Food and SSI from Singapore. Ang ganda na ng bounce ni SSI. Eh. But let's check out SSI pa rin. Uh, from Singapore. Uy, guys, may balita ako sa Singapore. Eh. It's still on the plans but I'm gonna be there. Most probably March or April. So, abangan po ninyo. Right? May pinaplano po kaming event sa Singapore. Right? So, hopefully it materializes. Right? Um, pag, pagdasal po natin yan. Um, Christian Cortez, good morning. Um, Austin Camacho, uh, good morning. Uh, B- Bunny Lagan, Laagan, Laagan, yan, Bunny Laagan. Right? Good mo- sa amin sa Cebu, asay, sa Bisaya, yung Laagan is Lakotsero. So, baka sinadya mo yung Laagan na yan. <laughs> or is that your last name? Um, that's a very cool last name. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. And Emmanuel Trino, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pwede ko pa ba i-hold si Aba or TP na? So far, wala pa ako nakikita ng weakness kay Aba. So, I'm still holding it. Pag may nakita pa akong weakness, uh, I'm... Nagte-trail stop lang ako. I'll teach you something about trail stop. Let's go to ABA. Alright. What I'm doing now is, I'm doing trail stop. Kaka, kaka breakout lang ni ABA, di ba? So, dati, ang entry ko kay ABA dito sa baba. So, this is my uh, entry point around here. So, that should have been my cut loss. Nag-sell na ako ng marami dito, but we still have ABA. So, sa ABA ko right now, ang natira kong ABA na stocks, I'm do- what I'm planning is trail stop na lang. This is ma- the recent support, so I'm using this as my support now. I can buy more, pero I'd rather put my money on stocks na nasa baba pa. I really don't like entering these stocks na nasa taas na. But still, there's potential in this. You can buy more if you want to. But the moment you buy more, move nyo po yung support nyo dito. So if it uh, if it breaks that support and hits around negative 3 to negative 4% below that support, cut loss na kayo. Right? So that's trailing stop loss. So I'm using this. I ha- Ako, hindi ako bibili ng mas marami. But I'm using trailing stop loss, meaning to the rec- I look at the recent supports. These are the, this is the recent support now. Ito na yung recent support niya. So, below that, pag, na, pag nag-collapse yan, I'm gonna be selling. Doon pa ako magta-target profit. It's not wise to target profit here. Kasi baka, that's momentum. Look at the momentum here. Ang ganda ng akyat niya. Ang ganda ng volume. This is very good vol- uh, this is very good momentum. So, it's not wise to sell at this point. Kasi baka magtuloy-tuloy pa yan. Diba? Only sell if you see the weakness. This will be your next support. This will be your support now. And then, pag nag-fail yan below, then that's what where I'm gonna be selling. Right? So, ganyan dapat. Hindi, Emmanuel, right? Um, one of the biggest mistake of a newbie dito sa stock market is 
selling too soon, right? Maagang magbenta. So baka ito yung mangyari sa iyo, baka maaga ka magbenta. Uh, hindi mo ma- hindi, baka umakyat pa yan, magsisisi ka lang. Alright, Christian Dalipe. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. PHR, please. Ayan, si H2O yan, di ba? Si PHR. I'm gonna be writing that down. Ayan, PHR, PHR. Alright, let's go back. PHR. Sulat ko muna, ha? PHR. H2O. I think si H2O po yung makikita natin, eh. Alright, I haven't checked PHR lately. I think hindi pala labas si PHR eh. PHR. Ayun, si PHR na pala. Right? So, PHR. Ayun. So, it's still on an uptrend. It's still at MA20. So, this is good for PHR. Right? You can use MA20 as your... Uh, what they call this? You can use MA20 as your support if you want to enter PHR. We'll talk more about that in a bit. Right? So, Rogelio R. Concil. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. Uh, good morning... Jerome Gambawa, one of my ano, one of my students. Uh, Jerome Coach WPI and Tech. Alright, si Tech ni-recommend ko yun kahapon. Actually, Tech is still good. Um, Tech nag-bounce siya kahapon. Hindi nga lang gumalaw pa. So, it's still good to buy actually si Tech. Alright, I recommended Tech yesterday because of this support right here. Um, still, the support is sustaining. So, okay pa rin. This is, uh, this is a good bargain. So, you can test out this support pa rin kay Tech. We'll talk more about that in a bit. Um, sulat ko si Tech at saka si WPI yan, si WPI rin ang ganda ng galaw eh Ito, tingnan natin yan mamaya alright, um, asa na ako uh, happy Friday Sir Lloyd, good morning from Alvan Prodigo, good morning then happy Friday sa inyo uh, good morning Sir Lloyd, Amiel Angelo, good morning All right, your analysis for ECP, this is from Rogelio our our concil your analysis of ECP po and RCI sir please I'll ch- I'll write these down si ECP and RCI Tyron Javier sir Lloyd okay pa ba pumasok kay Tugo thanks sir good morning I uh, nang uh, don't really want to recommend it right now kasi medyo risky na si Tugo kasi lumipad na eh. as much as possible wait for it to do a pullback before you wanna get back in but definitely pwede pa siyang pasukin but right now it's not the time antayin niyo po yung pullback best to wait for a pullback at least may base po kayo huwag po kayong maghahabol ng kanya na lumipad na alright kahapon was the best time kasi andun pa siya sa MA20 eh. alright RJ Abracosa good morning Sir Lloyd tingin mo ba mag upgrade din ang call ng platform na tulad ng sa 2Trade Asia Timson I don't know. I don't really know. I don't really know. I hope they do for the sake of the people in it kasi ang dami pong tao na nasa call, right? That's very good business for them. I hope they can you make those upgrades. Sana sana gawin nila 'yan, but I can't really say if gagawin nila 'yon. Dong J, good morning Sir Lloyd and IRC uh Sir Lloyd and IRC tuloy. <laughs> good morning Sir Lloyd, IRC po. All right, let's check out IRC. Oy, nagbansa si IRC ng maganda kahapon, 'di ba? So hold lang kay IRC, right? Um tanim ng taniman lang 'yan eh. All right, insights for WPI from Shells DV, right? Nasulat na natin 'yan. All right. Um Roy Anthony Castillo, good morning Sir Lloyd and traders, your insights please on B Core. Aakyat pa kaya siya sa 4 and above si B Core? Nagsustain yung MA20 ni B Core, eh, 'di ba? So maybe it will most probably we will. Alright, I just don't like uh, the position right now. I think it's gonna stabilize for a bit before aakit yan. Kasi kaka-sell off lang eh. Right? There's still that stigma. Hindi pa alam ng mga tao kung aakit yan. But you can test the MA20 out. Tignan natin si Vcore. Yung chart ni Vcore mamaya. Very good question. Um, Anna Awayan Lat. First time here. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, Anna. Welcome to uh, welcome to the daily grind. Robert Baluyot. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Uh, yeah, one of the reason why I want you guys to share this video para sa mga katulad ni Anna na mga newbies sa stock market malaman nila na may program na ganito, right? So please share the video. Please share po yun the daily grind video natin. Brilliant Encore. Good morning, X and B Core. Please, All right? Um, sulat ko si X, right? And B Core. And Robert Baluyot, good morning. El Razo, mm. good day, Sir Lloyd, and to your family. To you too. EW, uh, po, 
and best entries SMPH and DNL for investment. Yeah, SMPH and DNL lumipad na eh. si DNL ilang araw ko na rin yan nire-record doon pa sa baba eh. Right? So SMPH, DNL and then EW. Tingnan din natin yan. Christian Cortez, good morning Sir Lloyd. Win bent ako na ba Sir Lloyd? Eh, dalawang araw na nananalo si Win when I recommend it, right? Recommended it, right? Um recommendation ko kay Win dito Right when it is bouncing at the support for day one, it did this on the day that we recommended it. Right, ang ganda ng galaw ni Win on that day, and then yesterday, nanalo na naman with good volume. I won't recommend selling it. We are not seeing sell signals. You can use a breakout strategy if ever kailangan mo magsell. Kung bumaba yan below that, then that will be your sell signal. But right now. Sayang yung momentum. Ang ganda na yung momentum ni Win. Good job sa mga pumasok kay Win, Right? I envy you guys. Hindi ako nakapasok kay Win, But I recommended it nonetheless. So, good job. Um, congratulations kay Win. Pa-burger naman kayo. Right? Maria Gutierrez. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. First time ko to watch live from Kuwait. Ayan. Good morning. And Maria Gutierrez. Kuwait. From Kuwait. Ayan. Uh, Hopefully, 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 makapunta rin tayo dyan sa Kuwait, right? Vanilla again. Sir Lloyd, ano po analysis nyo kay SSI, CHP, and X? C, uh, C, SSI, maganda naman eh, right? Um, I was too, what they call this, I was very conservative with SSI. Hindi ko napansin na nag-support na pala ito. And lumipad na, right? Sayang naman, right? We'll just wait for SSI again to make a pullback before we wanna get in. We wanna get back in kay SSI. Sayang, hindi ko napansin ito si SSI. I would have recommended SSI. Pero I've been telling you for the longest time, SSI po, um, Whenever it dips, mag-ipon lang kayo. Yun yung, 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 yung recommendation ko kay SSI, di ba? So, whenever it dips, mag-ipon. This was a good dip for SSI. Na-break yung downtrend niya. Ang daming buy signal natin kay SSI. Sayang. Hindi ko na-reco. Na, uh, na hindi ko na-reco lately, but I did recommend SSI at around this support. Right? Um, lately lang. Sayang. Hindi natin nasakyan yan. Ang ganda sana ng movement. O, nag-break siya ng MA20. And then there's the pullback. Those are positive signals. And then there it is. Lumipad na. Sayang, sayang. Hindi natin nasakin si SSI lately. Then CHP and X naman. Si CHP is showing us good technical analysis naman eh. Right? This pullback is normal. Ito yung iniintay natin na pullback ni S uh, CHP. Antayin natin sa MA20. Most probably sa MA20. Or anytime soon na mag-bounce yan. That will be your entry point for CHP. Right? Si X naman. Tingnan lang natin si X, right? Um, while we're talking, Ay, it's 8.42 na pala. Right? It's time for us to, um, to, what they call this, to start our discussion. Si X, sabayan nyo lang po yung uptrend line niya. Pwede po yan gamitin yung support. Secondary support is the MA20. I strongly recommend you wait for it at MA20. I don't want to be aggressive in X kasi yung fundamentals ni X uh, is very bad. So, Um, konti ingat lang po kay X. Luminipis na yung volume niya. Eh, right? So, baka, mag, bu, baka bumaba na naman yan. This is just gonna be a short uptrend most probably kay X. Right? So, it's 8.40. Um, we'll start our discussion. I'll stop with Vanilla Agan muna or the comments. Right? We'll read more about your comments later. Ayan. So, yan lang muna. Um, our topic for today before I go to our recommendations is it will walk through ko po kayo sa Timson so that you will you will have an idea how the Timson platform looks like. Um kaso nga lang I think this is gonna be yeah hindi ko ma-zoom in so I think this is gonna be very small for you guys. So I hope klaro pa rin somehow. All right, so this is the Timson trade platform. If you notice is window po siya. Um I can minimize And then I can maximize, right? So it's a window, meaning install nyo po ito. Hindi nyo po, di po kayo pupunta sa timson.com to access this. You have to download that platform, and then it's it goes, uh, it connects directly to their service, which is good because mabilis yah paganyan, mas mabilis ang process paganyan. Um, I like Timson also as a platform overall. It's because it's very fast, ambilis po, napaka real time po ng mga uh, ng mga data. Um, here on your screen right now, eto yung sorry. Um, let me just uh, right. Let me just type in my password. Yan. So yan. So here is the single entry, uh, single order entry. Ang ganda po nung depth. Nang anya. This is the what they call this. This is the buy and bid ask. This is the full depth depth 
talaga. Yung kalalim ng buy and ask. Uh, buy and ask, bid and ask, makikita nyo po dito. At napaka informative nyan. Just go to this area right here and just type, for example, ISM. Let's type ISM. And then lalabas po sa ISM automatically po. Kung si ISM tinitignan nyo, andito po yung buy and sell order dito sa baba. Pwede po kayong mag uh, buy, pwede ko po kayo mag-sell. It's very good kasi pumupula yan pag-sell. Pag green, at least malalaman nyo po na buy ang ginagawa ninyo. You can click on sell para ibenta. Click on buy para mag-buy. Right. Lalabas nyo available cash ninyo. Quantity, ilan ang gusto nyo bilhin. Price, validity, GTC ba, GTD. Um, pwede siyong i-iceberg. Just click on how many quantity is shown. Iceberg is usually 10%. Ang makikita, for example, 1,000 gusto nyo bilhin. At pwede naman ang 100 na, uh, what you call this, na board lot. Pwede nyo po 100 lang ilalabas. That's the iceberg order here. And then, just send order. Right? That's how fast it is to buy and sell. If you wanna sell, just click on sell. Automatically, ISM na yun kasi ISM kinlik nyo dito eh. Right? Automatically, si ISM na lalabas dyan. And then, all you need to do is sell, blah, blah, blah. Lagay nyo po available shares, ilan ang gusto nyo ibenta. And then, send the order. Right? Send order lang. Lalabas yan dito. This or portion right here, this green and red, eh, nakikita nyo po sa screen niyo. Ito yung mga pending na mga orders ninyo. Makikita nyo po dyan. Ang kagandahan nito is what if may order kayo dyan na pending, you just right click on it and then modify order, may edit nyo kaagad and lalabas na yung order nyo dito, you just choose ano yung gusto nyo ibahin, quantity or room price, eh, quantity shown and then sell order. I like this because um, I just right click and then modify order, then lalabas yung order ko dito and then pwede andyan yung quantity so hindi na ako magta-type ng quantity, pwede akong diretso sa price, ang presyo uh, uh, papalitan ko and then just send the order. So, ang bilis ko po mag-edit ng order. So, that's what I love about Timson also. Alright, um, this one right here, ganito yung setup ko on my Timson trade. Alright, I'm just say, uh, sharing to you my set setup first. Pwede nyo po po itong dagdagan. Ang kagandahan ng Timson is you can drag this and transfer it wherever you want. Right? So, it's customizable. Yun yung kagandahan ng Timson. Right? That's one of the good uh, the good parts kay Timson um, pwede nyo po yung portfolio ninyo pwede nyo po i-transfer uh, dito sa baba kung gusto nyo like that so that's one of the good parts of Timson right? this is how how my platform is set up so I'm just sh sharing it to you dito may maganda um, these are the gainers and losers area so andito yung mga top gainers andito yung top losers kasi I always look at that within the day uh, kaya linagay ko po yun this is the ticker area right here pwede ko pong i-maximize pa itong ticker na kakainin niya ang buong ganyan or I can always I can always edit it na sa taas lang right? like that Right, so pwedeng ganyan din. Right, so I just, I can remove the ticker kung, kung hindi kayo gaano nanonood ng tickers, but you can do that. Pwede, yun, nawala yung ticker. All, all, ticker, all I want, I need to do is just click here on market, and then click on, asa na yun, um, gainers, uh, market ticker, then lalabas na yan siya dyan. So I can edit it again, and then there it is, the ticker is up there again. So that's a good thing about Timson, pwede nyo po ma-edit yung platform as kung saan po ay komportable. And, and then the most actives, this is the most active part. I also watch that. I also monitor that sino yung mga active na ang mga stocks na trading. Kasi minsan, you may, baka may, may makita kayo bigla na, uy, napaka-active. Ang laki ng volume ng stock na ito. Tapos napa, nasa support pa. So, I, I usually do that also on my trading. So, that's helpful. And then my portfolio is here. Pwede nyo po i-transfer yan anytime soon. And this is the important one. News and announcements. Right, news and announcements, uh, as much as possible, nakalabas yan while I'm trading kasi baka may biglang lumabas na news, makita ko kaagad. Alright, so, um, good morning sir, may question dito, watching from Dubai, this is from Wilmer, Insights for APIP, how can we have Timson platform? Alright, very good question, Paolo, how can we have a Timson platform? Go to timson.com, um, pwede, pwede po kayo mag-apply doon, right? That, eto lang, um, medyo downside kay Timson, some some people might it's it's it really depends on perspective. Some people might say na this is a disadvantage. Kasi kay Timson to open up a Timson account, a starting capital po dito is a hundred thousand, right? Dapat maghanda po kayo ng one hundred thousand to open an account kay Timson. Medyo mabigat. Uh, that's the downside to some people. But for me, I think it's a positive side because 
you get the exclusivity. Exclusivity meaning, konti lang ang tao na andito. Right? Nakita nyo naman sa ibang platform, pag maraming tao, tuwing important, very important moments, nagahang yung mga yan. Right? Kay Timson, kasi konti, konti lang ang tao, mauna po kayo lagi. Right? Wala pong lag. Right? So, that's the good part about it. So, if ever meron naman kayong 100,000, so this, this, can, you can, this can be an option for you too. Right? So, um, 100K o- to open Timson from brands. Yes, totoo yan. It is uh, 100K po. Right? Um, sir, how much ang pag-open ng account ng Timson? Uh, sana gaya ng 2 Trade Asia so we can open account for 5K. Yun ang mahirap kay Timson. 100K po kay Timson. Hindi pwede ang Timson sa CP, Apple at Android. Yes, that's one of the downside kay Timson, right? Um, I was with, I, I have a platform in Timson noong nag intraday trade ako. This is good. But the thing is, let's face it, hindi tayo ganun na klase na tao na lasa market talaga lagi all the time, right? So there are moments na kailangan natin lumabas, right? So that's why I've been recommending 2.30 Asia lately because maganda rin naman yung platform, especially the Prime. But the thing is, may o, mobile app po ang 2.30 Asia. That's the advantage of 2.30 Asia against Timson. Yun na po ang disadvantage na nakikita ko kay Timson right now. It doesn't have a mobile app. So, yan. Tama yung sinabi mo. Uh, tama yung sinabi mo, Vance. Richard, good morning, sir. Um, meron din um, price filter range sa 2Trade Asia like Nomura. Uh, price filter range. 2Trade Asia like Nomura. Um, I'm not sure about that. I'll check that out. So, Windows PC lang siya. Pwede kailangan install yung app na bibigay ng Timson by email. Yes. <laughs> yan rin. Kay, sa Windows pa lang siya, wala po siyang Mac, uh, wala po siyang Mac pang, pang Mac na software. So, yun yung restriction ni Timson. But, uh, going back to our topic, ang dami po nyo, nyo pa pong pwedeng idagdag dito. For example, um, andito yung market ticker, market snapshot, PSE news, and general dividends and disclosures. Pwede kayong maglagay dito ng dividends and disclosures. If you if you like these kinds of information, you can add that to your window. Pwede nyo pong pasakip, pasikipin dito. Right? So, ang problema lang dito is sisikip naman pag masyadong marami na um, uh, if nakita nyo kahapon sa 2 Asia, meron siyang tab na pwede nyo i-click kung gusto nyo pumunta sa portfolio nyo. Dito, sisikip talaga sa isang ano. Pero, y- ang ginagamit ko naman it's not really a problem for me because I have two monitors. So, pwede ko po ilagay, ilagay sa ibang monitors yung ibang details if, if, if I want these, ano, if I want these, uh, uh, information. Meron dito index report, most active, and dyan yan sa baba, gainers and losers, projected price. This is one of the favorite of the people, projected price. So, eto, lalabas yung projected price. Mamayang 9 o'clock, lalabas na ito. Lalabas lahat ng projected price, for example, ng all yan, all sectors, stock. Right? So, lalabas yan. Sinong pinakamalaking percentage change uh, kung gusto nyo mamaya. So, tingnan natin yan mamaya. So, marami pa dito. Um, broker's ranking, broker summary. summary. If you if you like these kinds of information, pwede po yan. Um, quote page, multiple bid and ask. This is useful for fast traders, top 5 bid and ask. Meron dito, your sample watch list din yun. Pwede kang gumawa ng watch list eh. LRLRW and Popey, for example, ito yung nasa watch list nyo, makikita nyo po multiple build and ask. Then, just click on the stock. Tingnan nyo, naiiba na dito. Just click on the stock. Diretso na kayo sa Popey. You can click on buy. Diretso kayo kay Popey. Quantity, ilan, or kung gusto nyo si LRW, nag-change yan lahat automatically. So, that's one good thing about this also. Mabilis. Kasi you just click on LR, automatic na nag-LR na yan lahat dito. Makikita nyo. Full bid and ask. Um, pwede nyo kayo mag-order kaagad. So, this is one of the good tools na pwede nyo pong gamitin. Multiple bid and ask. Sa stock naman, pwede yung times and sales um, for information on stocks. Uh, di pa yung lalabas ngayon kasi hindi pa open ng market. Real-time chart. Um, may chart din ng Timson. But this is uh, this is what I find na medyo mahirap talaga for Timson. Eh, kasi yung chart nila, ganito lang. You can't really, you don't really have the, uh, what they call this, uh, the freedom to put in more technical analysis tools. Ang technical analysis nilang nila dito is, let me see, um, in this position, auto heights, right click, Bollinger Bands, moving averages, ang intervals, uh, chart panels lang. Yun lang, yun lang ang pwede nyo makita, right? Um, Pwede kayo mag-moving average, 1, right? Um, 
ganun lang. Yun lang yung pwede yung technical analysis. Hindi po kayo pwede mag-plot ng, uh, what do you call this, ng parabolic SAR. Et, si RSI lang meron. Um, volume. And then this one, Bollinger Bands. At least meron naman siyang Bollinger Band. Um, so far, hindi ko pa na-try. Wala, wala ako nakita na multiple charts. Pero ang kagandahan nito is, what if you change to ABBA? Right? Everything changes to ABBA right away. Nagiging ABBA ka agad yan. So, um, synchronize po lahat. So, papas, uh, mag, mag change yan lahat. So, that's one of the disadvantage yung chart niya. Um, not really that dynamic, dynamic, pero wala pong delays. Ang ganda po ng chart kasi walang delay. So, that's the good part din naman. Right? So, meron pa dito mga informations, buyers and sellers, foreign transactions, makikita nyo po dito mga foreign transactions for Tugo. Ayan, maraming bumili ng foreign kay Tugo noong December 12, 2018, uh, December 10. Right, so, makikita nyo po yung mga foreign transactions dito. For example, sino ba yung malakas na foreign transaction lately? Um, sino ba? Si FMETF? Si FMETF ba yan? yan. Kahapon, ang laki ng foreign buying ni FMETF. Yes, nakikita nyo, ang laki ng green, di ba? So, if you like these kinds of information, makikita nyo po yan dyan. Trading, single order, order history, makikita nyo dyan in your portfolio. Dito yung portfolio, makikita, ko, makikita nyo. Tinago ko lang ngayon. Ginawa ko po na US dollar account. But if you click on PHP, account, lalabas po yung port nyo. But this is my mom's port, so I don't want to show it to everyone. <laughs> right, so... Um, Tools naman, trade alerts. Ito, mga trade alerts. Kung gusto nyo po mag, um, uh, magamit ng, gumamit ng alert, alerts, right, pwede naman dito. Ayan, may, may, may mga ano sila. May mga trade alerts sila. Kung nag 52 week high ba sila, etc. So, meron dyan. I haven't tried using this. I haven't really tried the trade alerts yet. It's still on the beta. So, medyo ano pa. So, marami dito. Uh, settings and everything. But basically, this is how the Timson platform looks like right advantages i like it because mabilis number one really fast very good number two is you can personalize your trading platform kung anong gusto nyo lumabas lang or saan nyo po ilalagay at least comfortable kayo so that's good about it um uh disadvantage 100k ang umpisa so i'll, I'll just mention that um wala siyang mobile app hindi siya pwede sa Uh, sa Windows lang siya pwede. So, if ever you you have a Mac piece, uh, you have a MacBook, hindi pwede ang Timson, sadly. Uh, yun, wala siyang mobile app. So, kung magte-trade ka talaga, you will be stuck on your PC. Right? Uh, if ever lalabas ka, hindi ka makaka-trade. If you, it's time to cut loss, hindi mo makaka-cut loss yung nasa Timson mo. So, that's one of the things you need to consider also. Right? So, and then the chart. Yan, medyo hindi dynamic yung chart. And then, wala pong multiple charts. So, That's the downside I can think of kay Timson. But if you if you want fast and reliable and nasa bahay lang naman kayo, Timson is also good for you. And kung kaya niyo po yung 100,000. Right? So that's the Timson. Auto log out ba sir? Pag di gumagalaw, gaano katagal bago mag log out? Matagal mag log out. Alright. At, 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 it's around, ang napansin ko is 30 minutes eh. Alright? I'm not really sure. I'm gonna contact Timson about that. But usually matagal. So it's not really, it's not really a problem. Pero ako is, ang passwords ko, it, it, this is one of my recommendations sa inyo guys. Yung passwords po ninyo, keep it as easy as much as you can para in kaso mag-log out man kayo or kailangan nyo i-type, mabilis lang kayo mag-type. Right? Just keep it personal lang. Right? Uh, para ano, huwag nyo pong pahira pahirapan sarili nyo sa passwords ninyo. Right? Para mabilis po kayo. Um, sir, how to join your chat room what app? It's Discord. Uh, uh, download Discord. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, nawala si Discord yon. Looks like this. It's called Discord. D I S C O R D. Download Discord. Search nyo po sa Google. Um, I don't know Google or Google, right? We, in Cebuano we call it Google. Google. Ayan, Google. <laughs> um, so yan. Um, download nyo po yan and then sa video disc uh, sa video description yung pinapanood yung video ngayon may description naman yan. Just uh look for Discord na link and then just click on it automatically makakapasok po kayo. Libre lang po yung chat room na yan. Alright, um, auto log out ba sir? Sir, di ba meron yung 2 Trade Asia Prime yung depth of market? Meron din naman ang 2 Trade Asia. Um, yun. So, I guess those are the questions. I guess we're okay with Timson. At least may 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 ano po, may, may idea na kayo how Timson looks like. Very fast. 
very rel rel reliable when it comes to fast-paced trading. I recommend this for hardcore traders yung nakaupo lang talaga sa PC the whole day for the whole 8 hours uh, for the whole time na markets open. This is also good. You can consider this also. Yun nga lang, for us, reality check. Right? Reality check. For us, we are just casual traders pa rin. May mga nag i trade sa atin but in the end, we're casual traders. Hindi naman tayo brokers. Most, um, meron ding mga oras na inaantok tayo, baka matulog tayo, or we have to go to the mall. So, yun. So, you have to consider that also. Um, wala po siyang mobile app. Yun. Lumabas na. Projected price. Sino ngayon ang pinakamalaking projected price? will change it by percentage change. Right? Um, projected price. Projected open. Yan. And then, uh, look, let's go for sector stock and percentage change. Right. So, ngayon, ang pinakamalaking opening na change is CHP and WPI. Uy, si Picor, magbabounce na. Right. So, Picor, guys, pag nagbounce bounce yan, right, maganda yan pasukin kaagad ngayon. So, we'll rec I'll recommend Picor. Pero makikita nyo po dito, sino yung mga mag-jump up in the opening. Yan. It's 9 o'clock. Right. So, B BKR, 2.70 CHP. 2.59 WPI 1.28 percent and change niya PCOR is 1.17 so yan makikita niyo po yan very advantageous for you traders then right so CHP 2.59 right so pinakamalaking change ngayon si CHP so I guess CHP is gonna bounce today anyways um yon that's Timson if you have any further questions, auto log out, sir. Yeah, I don't think there are any questions now for Timson. We'll go to my recommendations today. I'm just gonna close this out na lang. Right. So this is the the how the platform works. Now we go to my recommendations for today. Again, um these are my recommendations. Tagay ko po sa chat room. Yeah, number one, si Sec B. Sec B. Right. Number one, Sec B. I recommend ko po ngayon si Sec B. Napakaganda na po ng presyo ni Sec B. Overall, it's still very cheap as of the moment. It's now back to its price ba back way back 2015. So, napakamura po ngayon ni Sec B. Good volume yesterday. Right. Look at the volume yesterday. We are still at support levels. So, tolerable pa rin yung risk ni Sec B. Uh, this is a buy for me, right? If you can bargain for a bit, babaan nyo ng konti, but this is already a buy. So, I'm recommending Sec B for today. Next up is Primex. Si Primex naman. Here we go. So, Primex, nirecommend ko yung kahapon. Nag-bounce na siya. So, it's still sustaining the support. Still there. I explained this yesterday pa rin. Primex still okay. Um, testing nyo po yung support na yan while... Uh, andyan pa rin sa support. That's a very solid support. Meaning, wala pong nagbebenta ng mas mura. Wala nga lang pong buying pa. Right? Uh, once the volume picks up, this should be a, at a very good uh, this should be at a very good uh, position. Per test buy lang. Right? Um, sir, minimum minimum na pwede ipasok sa eToro para makapag-start ng trading. Right? Minimum pwede ipasok kay eToro para makapag-start ng trading. Actually, $200 pwede na pumasok sa eToro for trading. Right? Meron lang mga like indices, mga indexes, $1,000 po minimum to trade niyan. Like gold, si gold, $1,000 ang minimum. So, hindi kayo makakatrade niyan. Per first stocks, pwede yung $200. Right? So, pwede naman yun. Sir, may future seminar po ba kayo ulit sa Manila? Yes, I'm organizing one right now sa Manila. So, abangan niyo po yan. Nga pala, speaking of seminars, Cebu, guys. Cebu, January 19, 1 to 6 p.m. Right? 1 to 6 p.m. Wala pang venue, but um, no, not uh, yan, January 19 Kasi yung sinulog is 20 eh. The day before sinulog, punta kayo Cebu So yung mga nasa Bohol, nasa Dumaguete Yung malapit lang sa Cebu Punta kayo dito, right? January 19 Mag-seminar po tayo para the next day Enjoy po tayo sa sinulog diba? So January 19 um, 1 to 6pm, i-announce ko po yung venue But please block that date already right? Ina-organize na po namin yan Um Paano pagpasok ng fund sa eToro? Paano magpasok ng fund sa eToro? I use my credit card. As much pinakamabilis ang credit card, pwede naman ang debit card. Ano po na recommend yung platform para sa mga katulad natin? I recommend a platform na katulad natin. Um, so far, so good is 2Trade Asia. Right? 2Trade Asia is very good. Right? Ang ganda po ng support. One of the best things about 2Trade Asia is the support talaga. Kasi ang bilis ng chat na response nila. So, I will strongly recommend 2Trade Asia. Right? 
uh, si Pokemon, ay, na-late po ako. Ano pa nire-recommend yung platform sa mga katulad natin? Yung 2 3 Asia, eto, si Timson. So far, eto lang yung gusto kong ma-recommend talaga eh, right? First Metrosec is also good, right? Parehas lang sila ng uh, 2 3 Asia actually, si First Metrosec. So, I can recommend also First Metro if you want, if you, if you want that platform. Ayun. So, next pick ko is um, si Or. Ayan, I'm recommending Or today. And si Or. Kasi, strong bounce and it's already as, uh, it's already forming this support right here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, this support has been holding on strong. Ayan, nagbabollinger band trigger na sa taas. So, um, it's already heavy on the upside. So, pwede na siya anytime soon. Baka lumipad na yan si Or. Um, Hindi ko re-recommend si CPG but kasi lumipad si CPG. Hindi lang natin napansin. Si CPG pala nag-Bollinger Band Trigger and nag-Mounts MA20. That was the best entry point. Right now, CPG is forming an ascending. Uh, this is a flag pattern. So, an ascending triangle at the top. So, pag nag-breakout yan, pasukin nyo po CPG. But, um, si Or, then CLC. Right? Kahapon, si CIC ang nire ko ko. Ngayon, si CLC naman. Guys, si CLC, napakaganda ng company nito. Yung na long term din. Ang daming projects nila. Third telco, meron pa silang mga ports na binibili. Si Tugo, bibilhin pa nila. So, napakaganda po ng future na CLC. You might not see it on the numbers right now. Hindi nyo po po makikita yan sa earnings nila kasi spend sila ng spend ngayon. They're planting seeds. Right? Nagtatanim pa yan sila. So, but in the long run, this company is gonna be very big. They're very aggressive. Dennis always been very aggressive in his investments. And these are good investments he's entering. So, CLC po. Tingnan niyo po yan. You can check CLC uh, for long term. Pwede niyo po yung long term ito. Right? With the, pro uh, with, the, with the way the company is going. Ang ganda po nito yung long term. That's a very good support to look at the Bollinger Band na napaka-stable na po ng presyo na yan. So, you can test that out. So, CLC. I'm recommending CLC today kasi may bounce na na napakaraming developments. SMC. Right? Si SMC naman. Ayun. This is the bounce we're waiting for. That's the higher low. That's another higher low. So, that's good price action for SMC. I guess, pwede nang bilhin si SMC. So, I'm recommending SMC today. And then, FMETF. Wait nyo po yung breakout ni FMETF. Okay, recommendation ko po yan. And then, si PCOR also. I'm recommending PCOR. Wait for the bounce. This is very good for PCOR, right? The volume is good, right? Um, we have a double bottom right here. One, two. We have double bottoms. Pag nag-engulfing pattern yan, pasok sa bangayan, right? Uh, mula pa lang engulfing, so inintay ko pa lang talaga yung bounce ni Picor. But we have a divergence right here. Sideways ang presyo, but the RSI is already going up, right? Pataas na yung RSI. So, that's a divergence. Anytime soon, pag nag-bounce yan, pwede nyo na pong pasukin yan. Napakamura na po ni Picor right now. So, yeah. Um, I'm recommending PCOR on the bounce. So, those are my recommendations for today. Kahapon, pinag-usapan natin si P-Gold then P-Gold, good job sa mga pumasok kay P-Gold. Ang laki ng galaw ni P-Gold, right? Ang laki ng panalo, right? So, good job sa mga pumasok kay P-Gold. Nirecord na natin yan kahapon. Uh, one of you guys, sa audience natin, um, asked about P-Gold. So, nadaanan natin yung technical analysis niya. I said, dadagdag ko si P-Gold sa recommendation ko. And then, there it is. Lumipad si P-Gold. So, good job sa mga pumasok kay Pure gold then. Um, now we go to the picks of the people. Um, di ko napansin sino yung nag-subscribe. Nag, nag but thank you for subscribing. Sa mga hindi pa po nag-subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. And dami pa po na mga programs natin na ganito. We are very informative for traders. So, please subscribe to the channel. Right. Um, IDC. Question number one kanina. Si IDC naman, it's doing a pullback. So, antayin natin si IDC na at the very least, um, breakout strategy. Antayin natin lumapit yan dito sa MA20 niya or this um, previous resistance para um, hindi, ito pala yung second um, resistance niya kagad, immediate resistance niya. Right, so let's just wait for IDC to make a bounce anytime soon. So, wag muna mag, don't have to be aggressive, nagpo-pullback pa yan si IDC. Somehow, those pullbacks are, pullbacks are expected, right? Si ISM naman, Still, I still want to recommend ISM. and dyan naman yan lagi, right? Um, ipon lang, ipon lang whenever it dips, right? So, still on its uptrend line. So, somehow the uptrend line is holding naman. So, it's still okay. Bollinger Band is very constricted right now. So, the price is very stable, 
right? And it's at resting at above MA20. So this is good for ISM. So yung inintay natin kay ISM yung January 31 lang talaga. Baka lumipad na yan. So ano pa hintayin nyo pag, pag lumipad na? So just test buy already while it's still very cheap as of the moment, right? Um, yes, ta- sabi ng mga tao, wala, pang, wala pa namang, what they call this, fundamentals yun si ISM. Totoo naman, because we haven't seen the movement of, we don't see, we haven't seen the uh, numbers of Udena yet, right? Ch- especially the third telco, wala pang numbers yan, so wala pa tayong fundamentals na basis dyan. But, we are, uh, what they call this, we are betting on the future on that company. Kasi si Chinatel yan eh, Chinatel is, kailangan pa ba i-memorize yan, one of the best telco in the world si China Tel. So, alam ko na, I'm very confident na it's gonna be a successful business. LTG naman, it broke its uptrend line. Um, nagtitrigger sa lower Bollinger Band, so I don't wanna recommend LTG yet. I still remember, we recommended LTG at this point right here. So, ang ganda ng entry natin doon. So, laki na ng tubo ni LTG. But right now, it's not a good time to buy LTG. So, iwas lang po muna kay LTG. Um, Next kay LTG is Ali. Right? I recommended Ali yesterday. Ayan, sabi ko sa inyo, si Ali. Eh. ba? Sayang. Um, but still, okay. Napakamura pa rin ni Ali overall. As an investor, still okay to buy. And you get in near the support as much as you can. But Ali is still okay. Um, next is PIP. Ito si PIP. Gumaganda na ang technical analysis ni PIP. Right? It's stabilizing right now. So medyo mura na talaga si PIP. Kaso nga lang, I really don't like the negative TPIP sa third quarter niya. So, that's why I think mahirapan pa ito umakyat si PIP. Nagtitrigger sa sa upper Bollinger Band but rested again. But price action is okay. There's a good bounce yesterday. So, if you are, if you wanna check out PIP, if you wanna be aggressive, pwede kayo mag-test by dito. Huwag mo nang mag-all in, right? The 10 is your friend. Sideways trend pa yan. So, huwag nyo po na lalagyan ng malaking pera yan si PIP. Alright, next kay PIP is TEL. Right, si Tel nag-bounce, right? So, still, sustaining naman the support. So, if you wanna test out Tel, this is a good company, right? I think Tel is gonna be able to recover naman, right? It's a good company. Uh, yung ter- third Tel ko, threat lang talaga. Tsaka yung third quarter earnings nila, negative 15%. So, medyo malaki negative. Kaya, eto bumagsak na. Ito yung pagbagsak niya. But right now, it's stabilizing. It's uh, double, double bottom yung... Um, pinakamababa na yan. It's been the lowest ever since. So, I think this is a good support we can test out if you wanna test out TEL. So, okay naman si TEL. Um, pwede na testing yun yan. We can't say it's gonna go up already because it's still doing sideways. Right? Si Vita, yan. Si trend line ni Vita, same. Just follow the trend. Kaso nga lang guys, konting ingat dito kasi uh, look at this. If I, if I change this to um line, right? We have a bearish divergence, pataas yung presyo, but the RSI at these points are pababa na already, and here, these tops are very weak, yan pataas, and the RSIs are going down. So, konti ingat kay Vita, right? That's why I don't want you guys to chase it here, dito sa taas. Dapat dun sa baba. Nirecommend ko yun si Vita sa baba, eh, di ba? So, dapat dun tayo sa baba pumapasok when this divergence was showing. This is the buy, best buy signal. Pababa ang presyo. Ayan, RSI was going up. Ilang araw ko yan, i- i- inuulit sa inyo yung technical analysis na yan. I will not stop telling you about these technical analysis because this is very effective, especially in guessing the bottoms. Right, so right ngayon, um, technical analysis niya is saying that this is very weak climb already. So, I don't want to recommend Vita anymore as of the moment. Let's say let's see let's wait for it to stabilize at maglaro doon sa baba na RSI before I want to recommend that again. So Vita, I don't want to recommend that si ABBA naman same. I don't want to recommend ABBA. Look at the RSI, it's already going down pag pumula yan meaning mas mababa na RSI. So that's a divergence. That's why I don't really want to recommend ABBA anymore. Dito sa baba, na-recommend na natin yan si ABBA. Laki na ng panalo natin dyan. So, um, sa mga gustong mabol, you can do a breakout strategy. Technical analysis could be wrong. So, pwede pa rin umakyat yan. Maganda naman yung volume, di ba? So, volume is volume is telling us a buy. RSI is telling us na hindi na. So, it's up to you if you want to risk it here. But I, I'm not that kind of trader. I don't want to risk my money for stocks who are already at the top. Right? Napakataas na po niyan. Basic rule po ng stock market, right? Basic rule sa stock market, buy stocks that are on sale. And this is not on sale, right? Nasa taas na ito. So, it's really hard to, it's really hard to, 
recommend this, especially sa mga newbies na audience natin. So, I don't want to recommend ABBA anymore. Right? I, I could be wrong, but as much as possible, yun na lang mga safe na companies ang i-re-recommend ko. IRC, forming good support right now. So, ang ganda ng support ni IRC, price action is doing well. So, the support has been holding. This is good for IRC. I think it's still okay to buy IRC. Let's check out our risk kung tolerable pa rin ba. Uh, risk is around negative uh, support is negative 5.41 so medyo mataas na so dapat dito sa baba nagbubodega tayo uh, let's just wait for it to mark, make an uptrend before we wanna get in kay IRC so right ngayon medyo risky na pasukin si IRC uh, medyo late na right yung mga tao I really don't want you guys to chase stocks na lumilipad na kung kailan lumilipad si IRC doon pa natin pasukin that's, that's bad trading right sa so food naman Right, it's doing a pullback, so let's wait for it at around MA20 before it, it uh, when it bounces. So, pag bounce na dun pa tayo pumasok. Um, food SSI, we talked about SSI already. So, SSI lumilipad na yan. So, let's wait for it to do a pullback before we wanna get in SSI. Um, PHR, and si PHR, yun sa MA20. You can use the MA20 if you if you wanna enter PHR. Right, ang ganda, maganda pa rin yan. You can use MA20. I think it's gonna stabilize for a bit then make a support before it's it's gonna go up but you can use MA20 as your support in this case kaso nga lang nag, nag, nag uh, ano siya lagi sa bottom ng MA20 eh, sa baba ng MA20 so those are bad signals for me so patience lang huwag muna natin nahabulin yan dapat dito sa baba I've been recommending H2O dito pa lang sa baba right we've been talking about H2O for the past few um months na di ba so Okay, and tech naman, I recommended tech yesterday. Yeah, it's a tech, pwede pa rin bilhin yan. Still at the support, I did recommend it yesterday. Did not recommend it anymore, but still, it's a buy. Right, ang ganda pa rin. Actually, sinulat ko si tech kanina, but tinanggal ko na lang kasi I want my list to be really short. Right, si WPI, same concept. You can use a breakout strategy if you want to. Right, but I tell you guys, this top is kind of weak because of the divergence it's showing right now pataas yung presyo but RSI is going down look at that RSI pababa so I could be wrong if you still wanna get into this pwede nyo momentum trade pwede nyo momentum trade ito but use a breakout strategy for WPI if gusto nyo po pong pumasok dyan sa taas for WPI but I do not recommend that especially in yung market natin medyo shaky pa talaga manipis pa rin ang volume uh, so ito na lalamunan ko dal dal ko eh. <laughs> so ECP and so ECP somehow it's stabilizing. I don't want to recommend ECP right now cuz I for me I think it's overpriced. Medyo ma, medyo mataas na yung presyo ni ECP. I want ECP to go further down before I want to recommend it. Medyo mataas pa rin si ECP so somehow. So I don't want to recommend it still. Um ECP uh next is RCI. RCI, ayan. We are seeing good higher low. Ang ganda na ng support ito. Yun, this is good, right? We have a 3-day support na nagsustain. 1, 2, 3 for 3 days. Nagsusustain yung support na yan. That's a higher low. It's been clipping the upper Bollinger Band. So, anytime soon, baka to si RCI. Gumalaw na naman to. Right? So, this is a good this is a good bottom for RCI actually. Right? So, yeah, you can test this out. You can test this support kay RCI. Yet, pwede yan. I just really don't like recommending it kasi yun, ang lalaki ng negative na numbers. So, I really can't recommend RCI. Yet, fundamentals, I don't like the fundamentals. Annual, negative 39. First quarter, negative 935%. Second quarter, negative 177. Uh, third quarter, negative 181. So, I don't like these numbers RCI are showing. So, I don't really want to recommend RCI. Uh, next is IRC. We talked about IRC. Si Bcor naman, ayun, si Bcor nagbabounce sa MA20. So, this is good, right? Uh, kaso, nagka-shake off kahapon eh. Right? It broke MA20 and then bounced, right? Baka ito, baka kasi ito dead cut bounce lang eh. Kasi usually after a very exaggerated move, nagko-correct lang yan and then it goes, uh, it goes back to its original downtrend. So, I don't really want to recommend Bcor. Very risky for now. Very volatile move for me. Right, I really want for B Core again to stabilize like this, a very beautiful stabilization before I really want to get in B Core. But if you want to risk it, you can use MA20 as your support if you want to. Um, but I don't want to recommend that. Uh, X naman, um, medyo mataas na si X. Fundamentals wise, I don't want to recommend X. Pero 
Sakyan niyo po yung uptrend kung gusto niyo. You can use MA20. Or right now, malayo po siya sa MA20. So, stay away from it muna. DNL, good job sa mga pumasok kay DNL. Um, I don't want to recommend it right now. Medyo mataas pa. Let's wait for it to retrace and bounce somewhere before we want to get in. We we'll always wait for the bounce on the pullback before you want to get in the stock. Right? for DNL. SMPH naman, good job for SMPH yesterday, nag-breakout. Um, still good for investment for me. For long term, ang tanong kanina was if you still recommend it for long term, yes, overall, napakamura pa rin ni SMPH for the for the possible growth ni SM. Ang dami pang malls na ginagawa ni SM. Right? So, nag-breakout siya, but as much as possible, I don't like to play breakouts. Wait for it to do a retracement before you wanna get back in. SM, right? We talked about SM for how many days. Lagi ko nire-recommend yan whenever there's a buy signal. But right now, wala pong buy signal si SM. So, I don't want to recommend SM. Um, next is EW. The question was for EW. Alright. So, EW naman ang question. Ayan. Gumagalaw na naman si EW. But we have a resistance at this area. So, best if you just wait for a breakout if you want to enter EW. Right? So, antayin lang po ng breakout. So, let, I'm gonna go back. We still have time. It's 9.20. We still have time to go to your um, uh, to go to your questions. Ayan, si Lawrence Basilio. Alright, good morning. Sir Lord, ATN po and MPI. Si ATN naman. I still recommend ATN on the dips. Antayin natin mag-dip si ATN. It's that 1.45 right now. Antayin natin ulit itong bumaba sa mga 1.30 levels or make a pullback at least and bounce before we really wanna get in ATN. But definitely, ATNs for long term. Same with MPI. We talked about MPI. Sabi ko sa inyo, walang rason. Bakit walang MPI? Diyan, support ninyo. Ayan, nag-bounce na ng malakas si MPI tuloy kahapon. So, MPI, still good for me. Overall, still Still very cheap. Look at that price right there. Right, napakamura para ni MPI for its possible, uh, for its possible potential in prices. Right, so MPI is still very cheap. So, pwede pa rin pasukin yan si MPI. Kakabans lang kahapon. Um, Ruel Ronces Valles. Good morning, uh, sir. Good morning. Ano po tingin niyo kay PIP and FLI? We talk about PIP already. Si FLI naman. Good naman si FLI. Eh. This is a good support, pero napaka solid na support nyan. Meaning, gusto ko ibig ang ibig ko pa sabihin yan is baka matagalan pa bago gumalaw ang stocks nyo but yeah, you can always test out the support wag nyo lang po malaking pera muna kasi baka matuloy yung pera ninyo ang tagal gumalaw ni FLI eh. right, so FLI, yeah, but that's a very good support those are the supports you wanna get into so FLI is good for me real well um, I'll go to uh, Turandot2006 good morning sir, happy new year to all Hilario Mantalaba, good morning sir Lord from South Africa uy, South Africa Good morning sa inyo dyan. I'm, uh, I hope morning din siya. I don't think it's morning sa inyo. But good morning. Malapit lang sila sa UAE. Yeah, so I guess morning din sa inyo. Shows DV, B Corpo. We talked about that. Travador. Good morning. Sir, pasilip mo na Nickel. Time to go out na ba? Right, si Nickel did a very good move yesterday. Let's check out Nickel. Alright. Uh, nickel. Ayan. Wag muna ang time to go out. Right? We have a resistance right here. Ang ganda kaya ng move ni Nickel. So, I don't want to I don't I don't want you to sell out right away. Just wait for the weakness. Andito na tayo sa resistance. Siguro pag nag-fail yan ng resistance, then maybe you can sell half kay Nickel. But right now, sayang yung momentum. It's good momentum, backed up by volume, so baka magtuloy-tuloy pa si Nickel. I just that did not recommend it today because malapit na siya sa resistance at mataas na yung risk natin. So, dapat dito sa baba. Right, nag-ascending triangle yan si Nickel there, right? I was watching out for Nickel na mag-break out. Kaso nga lang, nag-break out ng napakalakas naman. So, wala. Missed opportunity na naman siya. So, yun. Um, dapat tinitignan nyo ito. So, habang ganito pa yung stock, antayin nyo na yung break out. Pag nag-break out yan, pasukin nyo na. Ayun, nag-break out. Hindi ko pinasok. Lumipad na tuloy. <laughs> right? But that's for Nickel. Um, still okay si Nickel. I don't want you to get out yet of Nickel. Buy pa check po CHP, please. We talked about CHP already. Um, STR, sir. Yan, si STR naman. This is from our Leo, STR. Yan, si STR. Very good. Right, it's solidifying a support right now. I think STR is good to buy right dito. Right, this is a good support for STR. Kaso nga lang wala akong volume nakikita eh. So, if this bounces again today, so, sige, pw pwede nyo pasukin si STR. That will be a good entry point for STR. Alright, so STR. And then, next up is 
Chen Mark Tamayo, good day, Sir Lloyd. Hi to my husband, Bert Tamayo. Always watching you up. Thank you so much for the support. Good morning po sa inyo. Joni Latchika, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then, Lit- Little Dear. XO, XO, good morning. At last, nakapasok din ako dito. Ayan, good morning. Alright, um, it's 9.24. So, siguro last two na lang. John Vincent, Sir Lloyd, good morning. Ali and ISM, na-check na natin yan. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Two go, Sir. And uh, APX, si two go, Mas- medyo mataas na yan. Huwag nyo na po habulin. And APX is, uh, kamusta yun natin si APX? Gumaganda ang presyo ni Gold. Look at that, MA20 bounce. So, right now, um, medyo shaky. Uh, it's hard to tell. Hard, to, really hard to tell. Uh, but if you wanna get in APX, get in this uptrend line or MA20. Get in near MA20 as much as possible, right? So Veronica, good morning. Tabio Sares, Sami Meneses, good morning, Sir Lloyd. SMPH, sell na ba? Wag mo na, right? Packet pa eh. Good morning, everyone. God bless us. Morning, Sir Lloyd from Jose Tomondong, Arvin Velasquez. Ayan, Sean San Miguel. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. And Baby Laika from Madagascar. And hope all is well. What's your take on URC? Hope the bull market will sustain. Alright. Hopefully, it does. Ito si URC. Tingnan natin. Ganda na support ni URC. Yeah. Right? Um, it's been clipping the Bollinger Band lower. But this is a very solid support. Yet, pwede nyo test itong support ni URC. Right? It's been making a solid support lately. So, yeah. I think it's okay to test out URC. Yun lang muna for today. Right? Um... It's a Friday, so the market has been doing well. So, baka mag-pull back anytime soon, so konting ingat lang sa market, okay? As much as possible, guys, huwag mo ko yung maghahabol ng mga stocks na nasa taas. These, look at these stocks, ito sila URC, nasa baba pa, sila Ali, nasa baba pa. Yun yung stocks na dapat pinapasok natin, right? Pasensya na if hindi ko po masasagot lahat. Um, siguro, a take down ko sa lesson natin ngayon is... Do not, may napapansin ako no, man, nagtatanong take profits na ba sir Lord, take profits na ba. Baka, uh, never sell too early guys. One of the biggest mistake of a newbie is selling too early. Always wait for a sign of weakness before you wanna sell. Kasi sas- baka sabihin nyo, sayang naman yung gain sir, right? Kasi andun na yun eh, di ba? You want, you really wanna win it all. Winning it all is not the goal of a trader. The goal of a trader is to be at a good position on all of the what ifs. What if umangat yun? Diba? What if umangat pa? Out ka na. Just for a few gains. Diba? What if mag lakas pa ng akit nun? So, pangit pag binenta mo kagad. So, what if bumaba, at least makapagbenta ka, still a gain. So, at least it's it's still there. So, wag po magbibenta kagad. Always wait for a weakness before you wanna sell. Alright? That's it for today. Enjoy your weekend. Konti ingat sa market. It's a Friday. Let's get rich together. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Enjoy your weekend.